Gilbert Stuart's Lansdowne portrait of George Washington is an iconic image of the first American president. It is an important piece of our history, just as important really as a document like the Declaration of Independence. Because of the way it was painted, it has an immediacy that many paintings that are that old don't have. This is a joyful picture. It was a way to sort of send out the messaging of what the aspirations were, not just for the presidency, but also for the country going forward. Today we take down the Lansdowne portrait of George Washington. It'll be off view for 18 months. It's heading into conservation, and then it will be reinstalled when America's presidents is rehung um, for the 50th anniversary of the National Portrait Gallery. We are taking the Lansdowne painting off view so that it can shine and look just as it did over 200 years ago when it was first created. It was painted as a private commission in 1796, so it wasn't painted for the federal government or for anyone public setting. The patron was a senator from Pennsylvania. He was one of the wealthiest men in America, William Bingham, and he wanted to give it as a gift to Lord Lansdowne in England. The two of them together worked toward supporting a treaty called the Jay Treaty, so that American goods could be shipped to England and the English could sell their manufactured goods in America. So this is a very lively political moment that this is all happening. People were so interested to know what Washington looked like. They had been interested since the time of the Revolution. And so prints made after paintings or paintings displayed in public places allowed people to see what the president looked like even if they couldn't see him in person. Stuart was a really well-trained, talented artist who had learned to paint in England from some of the best late 18th century English painters. And when he came back to America, he had that behind him, that talent and that experience. So Stuart was in England from 1774 to 1793, did not see Washington as a general, but when he came back and was commissioned, he saw Washington as president. And with between his talent and this new view of Washington, I think that's probably uh, the reason for its success. Washington was acutely aware of his responsibility to create in himself an image of a president who was not a monarch, someone who was elected and someone who was the leader of this new republic, the United States. He is interestingly standing in almost the exact same composition of George III. There's a painting by Ramsey where he, in contrast, has got all of his ermine and all of his sort of royal robes and his crown and his scepter. It's unique as a life-size portrait because the other full lengths of Washington that painted in his lifetime show him in uniform as a general. The Lansdowne portrait, when you look at it, has all of these little clues and what the aspirations were for Americans going forward. For the early founders of the country, this was very symbolic, this idea that they were leaving behind the old trappings of Europe. In the portrait on the table is a copy of the Federalist Papers, which were the papers written by Alexander Hamilton and others to try to determine how to set up this government, what were these functions going to be. And there's also a book on the table called Journal of Congress, which are the day-to-day functions of Congress. So there are references to the current political situation in the portrait. There are also references to Washington's past in the books under the table, which include American Revolution and Constitution and Laws of the United States. So you have a sort of past role of Washington as general and as president of the convention that set up the Constitution in the 1780s, and now you have Washington now as president in the portrait. Washington created the idea of the president. He was the first. No one really knew what a president should look like, how he should act. What do people call him? Do they call him general or excellency or, or sir or whatever? You know, the whole title of first lady and everything came along much later. And I think that's really interesting to try to look back and think how they're working through all of these cultural and political decisions um, right at the time that this portrait is being painted. So in this painting, we see how the idea, the very concept of an American president is pictured. I'm the paintings conservator for the National Portrait Gallery, and I worked on the Lansdowne for 18 months. In collaboration with E. Keats Webb, 
who's a digital imaging specialist at the Smithsonian's Museum Conservation Institute. The Lansdowne presented some conservation issues that needed to be addressed. Over the years, the original brilliance of the painting had diminished with the yellowing of the resinous varnish, as well as an uneven cleaning of Washington's black coat. The Smithsonian is really blessed to have incredibly talented scientists on staff. They really wanted to understand how the picture had been put together from a scientific point of view. I think one of the things is really important to remember that the sciences and the humanities have always been linked and certainly in museum work they are very much interconnected. So in February of 2016 the painting was brought down for analysis and conservation treatment. And for the first phase of the project, the portrait was moved to the Museum Conservation Institute to complete digital imaging using ultraviolet induced visible fluorescence, infrared reflectography, and digital X radiography. The painting was brought back to the museum, and cleaning took 12 months to complete to remove the yellow varnish, compensate losses on the surface, and bring the painting back to its original brilliance. When you walk into America's Presidents and you see the colours are brighter, the rainbow is shining, you can see the details in the coat, the white in the cravat and the shirt are really beautifully white, but this is a nice way to sort of take a new look at this founding father and the first president. I think it's a great painting. I mean, it's important that it's Washington, but it's also important that it's by a very good artist. By conserving this painting, we are preserving it for generations to come.